These subjects will be covered in Fire and Overheat Protection. In Part 1, we will cover APU Fire Protection, Engine Fire Protection, Engine Overheat Detection, and Wheel Well Fire Detection. The remaining systems will be covered in Part 2. Let's begin with a brief overview of the systems. The APU has fire detection and a single fire extinguisher bottle. Each engine is equipped with fire detection. Two fire extinguisher bottles are installed in each wing. The bottles in the left wing supply the left engines. The bottles in the right wing supply the right engines. Each engine is equipped with overheat detection. The lower forward and aft cargo compartments have smoke detectors and four fire extinguisher bottles. The bottles can be discharged into either compartment. The main landing gear wheel wells have fire detection. Let's now look at each of these systems in detail, beginning with the APU fire protection system. The APU fire switch is located on the overhead panel. The APU has dual fire detection loops. A and B. During normal system operation, a fire detected by either loop A or B will produce a fire signal. The automatic fire overheat logic and test system continuously monitors both APU fire detector loops for faults. The ICAS advisory message, Detection Fire APU, is displayed when a fault is detected in both loops. The APU fire detection system is inoperative. The ICAS warning message, Fire APU, indicates an APU fire condition. The APU fire switch also illuminates. The message and light remain until the APU fire condition no longer exists. In flight or on the ground, if an APU fire is detected, the APU is automatically shut down. On the ground, the APU fire extinguisher is also automatically discharged. APU fire signal electrically unlocks the fire switch. Should the fire signal fail to unlock the fire switch, it can be unlocked manually by pushing the override release while pulling the switch. Pulling the APU fire switch to the stop arms the discharge squib closes the fuel valve ensuring a positive APU shutdown, closes the APU bleed air valve, and trips both APU generator fields. Question. Answer B is correct. Now let's look at APU fire extinguishing. Pulling the fire switch unlocks the switch for rotation. Rotating the APU fire switch in either direction to the stop discharges the fire extinguisher bottle. The APU fire switch remains in the rotated position. The ICAS advisory message, Bottle Low APU, is displayed when the APU bottle has discharged. The APU bottle discharge light also illuminates. Question. 
Question. Answer A is correct. For ground operations, an APU remote control panel is located in the right body gear wheel well. An APU fire is indicated by the APU firelight and an intermittent warning horn at the remote panel. The light will remain illuminated and the horn will continue until the APU fire condition no longer exists. Auto shutdown and fire extinguishing occurs immediately. Pulling the APU fire control switch will silence the horn, arm the bottle discharge squib, and shut down the APU if auto shutdown has not occurred. Pushing and holding the APU extinguisher discharge switch discharges the fire extinguisher bottle into the APU compartment. The APU fire condition no longer exists. The APU fire light will extinguish. Now, let's look at the engine fire protection system. The engine fire switches and indicator lights are located on the overhead panel. The fuel control switches are located on the control stand. The engine fire switches and indicator lights are located on the overhead panel. The fuel control switches are located on the control stand. During normal system operation, both the A and B loops must detect a fire to produce a fire signal. The automatic fire overheat logic and test system continuously monitors the A and B engine fire detection loops. When a fault in one loop is detected, the system automatically configures itself for single loop operation. The single operating loop is capable of generating an engine fire signal. The ICAS advisory message detection fire overheat is displayed when a fault is detected in both loops. The engine fire detection system is inoperative. ICAS warning message, Fire Engine, indicates an engine fire. Warning lights in the engine fire switch and fuel control switch illuminate. The message and lights remain until the engine fire condition no longer exists. An engine fire signal electrically unlocks the fire switch in the same manner as the APU fire switch. Should the fire signal fail to unlock the fire switch, it can be unlocked manually by pushing the override release while pulling the switch. Pulling the fire switch closes the bleed air valve, closes the engine driven hydraulic pump shutoff valve, closes the spar and engine fuel valves, trips the generator field and generator breaker, and arms discharge squibs. Question.
Answer C is correct. Let's look at engine fire extinguishing. Two fire extinguishing bottles, A and B, are located in each wing. The bottles in the left wing supply engines number one and two. The bottles in the right wing supply engines number three and four. Each fire extinguisher bottle has two discharge squibs, which allow the extinguishing agent to be discharged into either engine. Pulling an engine fire switch out to the stop arms the squibs and unlocks the switch for rotation. Rotating an engine fire switch to the stop discharges a fire extinguisher. The ICAS advisory message bottle low is displayed when the selected bottle has discharged. The bottle discharge light illuminates. Rotating the switch in the opposite direction to the stop discharges the second available fire extinguisher bottle. The ICAS advisory message bottle low is displayed when the second bottle has discharged. The bottle discharge light illuminates. The labels on the switches show that rotating the number one fire switch to the left discharges bottle A. Rotating the number two fire switch to the left discharges bottle B. Rotating engine fire switches number one and two in the same direction, left or right, discharges bottles to both engines. Fire switches number three and four operate in the same manner. Question. Answer B is correct. Question. Answer A is correct. Let's look at engine overheat detection. Each engine has dual overheat detection loops, A and B. During normal system operation, both A and B loops must detect an overheat to produce an overheat signal. The automatic fire overheat logic and test system continuously monitors the overheat detectors for faults. When a fault in one loop is detected, the system automatically configures itself for single loop operation. The operating loop is capable of generating an engine overheat signal. The ICAS advisory message detection fire overheat is displayed when a fault is detected in both loops. The overheat detection system is inoperative. ICAS caution message overheat engine nacelle indicates an engine overheat. The message remains displayed until the condition is corrected. Now let's look at wheel well fire detection.
A single fire detection loop is installed throughout the main gear wheel wells. No fire extinguishing system is installed in the main gear wheel wells. A fire condition in the wheel wells is sensed by the detection loop and produces a fire signal. The ICAS warning message, Fire Wheel Well, indicates a wheel well fire condition. The message remains displayed until the wheel well fire condition no longer exists.